In this lecture, you're going to learn how to create a custom attribute directive in Angular. Now, we have already talked about Angular's built-in directives like ngif, ng4, ng style, and ng class. So, ngif and ng4 are structural directives, and ng style and ng class is a attribute directive. Okay, so in this lecture, we are going to create an attribute directive like ng class and ng style. But before that, let's recap what we know so far about the directives in Angular. So we have learned that directives are simply an instruction to the DOM. And we have also learned that components are also a kind of directive in Angular, but components are directive with a template. Now we can classify directives into two types, attribute directive and structural directive. The attribute directive can be used as an attribute to change the behavior or appearance of an element, component, or other directives. And the example of attribute directive is ng style and ng class. In the same way, structural directive controls the DOM element using which we can add or remove element from the DOM. Okay, so using structural directive, we can modify the DOM by adding or removing elements from the DOM. And the example of structural directives are ng if and ng for. Okay, so we already know all these steps from our previous lectures. Now let's go ahead and let's create our own custom attribute directive. So here I have created a brand new Angular project with the name custom directives. And currently in this project, we have only one component, which is this app component. And if I open the HTML file of this app component, you will notice that inside this HTML file, we have a div and inside the div, we have a paragraph. Okay, so if I go to the web page, you will notice that that paragraph has been displayed here. Now, what we want is, we want to create an attribute directive which will change the background color of an HTML element to green when we use it. Okay, so let's say we want to create a custom attribute directive called set background. Okay, and whenever we use this attribute directive on an HTML element, it should change the background color of that HTML element to green. Let's see how to do that. So for that, let's first create a folder inside this app folder and let's call it custom directives. Okay, so inside this custom directives folder, we are going to place all our custom directives. Inside this folder, let's create a new file. Let's call it set background. So this is the directive name. And since we are creating a directive, the convention is to use directive after the directive name like this. So for component, we use component after the component name in the same way for directive after the directive name, we use directive. And since it is going to be a TypeScript file, the extension is .ts. Inside this file, let's create a class. Let's call it set background directive. Okay, so this is our class name. And since we want to use this class outside of this file, we also need to export it. Okay, now we want to make this class a directive. So for that, we need to decorate this class with add directive decorator. So when we create a component, we decorate the class with add component decorator. In the same way, when we want to create a directive, we decorate the class with add directive decorator. And in order to use add directive, we need to first import it from Angular Co. Okay. Now let's decorate this class with add directive decorator. Now to this class, let's pass an anonymous object. And for this anonymous object, let's set the selector property. Okay, and to this selector, we can assign some value. And the value which you will assign to this selector property that will be used as an attribute directive. So here we wanted to use this value as the directive. So let's copy this and let's assign it to this selector property. Now, we want to use this selector as an attribute. So earlier we have learned that we can use a selector in different ways. We can use it like an HTML tag. We can use it like an attribute or we can also use it like a CSS class. But here, since we are creating an attribute directive, 
we want to use this selector as an attribute and for that we need to wrap this within square brackets okay so let's wrap this value within square brackets like this and now we can use this value as an attribute on any html element or a component all right now for this set background directive class let's specify a constructor okay now on whichever html element or component we will use this directive that html element or component will be passed to this constructor so for example if i use this directive on this paragraph element in that case this paragraph element will be passed to the constructor of this directive class okay so let's specify a parameter for this constructor let's call it maybe element and it is going to be of type element ref and in order to use this element ref we also need to import it from angular co and now this element ref it is going to have a native element property so this native element is going to store the html element on which we have used this directive so from here we want to set the style of that html element and we want to set its background color okay and we want to set it to green all right and this should be it so to create an attribute directive first we created a class we decorated it with add directive decorator then we specified a selector and for that selector we specified a value within square brackets because we want to use that selector as an attribute now we also need to register this class in the app modules so let's go ahead and let's do that so let's open app modules file here and inside this declarations array let's declare this class and in order to use this class we also need to import it and this class is present in custom directives folder and inside this custom directives we have this set background dot directive dot ts file all right with this let's save the changes and let's go ahead and let's use this directive on this div element okay so on this div element let's specify that selector as an attribute let's save the changes let's go to the web page and here you will notice that the background color of this of that div has changed to green okay so here we have created a very simple custom attribute directive which changes the background color of an html element on which we use it let's see that with another example so before this div let's also add one h1 element and let's give a header okay and let's go ahead and let's use this directive this set background directive on this h1 element and let's see what happens let's save the changes let's go to the web page and you will notice that an h1 element has been added and its background color has changed to green because we have used this directive on that h1 element okay so this is how we can create a custom attribute directive now here we are writing the logic inside the constructor but that is not a good practice instead of writing this logic inside the constructor we can write it inside ng on init method okay that's because this ng on init gets called just after the directive is completely initialized okay so let's do one thing let's copy this logic from here and let's comment it here and let's write it inside this ng on init now in order to use this ng on init let's also implement the on init interface okay and to use this interface we also need to import it from angular co all right now inside this ng on init we don't have access to this element parameter which we are receiving for this constructor right that's because this parameter will be local to this constructor it cannot be accessed outside of this constructor so what we can do is we can create a private property let's call it element 
let's specify its type as element ref and initialize it with the value null okay and inside this constructor we can assign this element so we can say this dot element equals element okay then we can use it here like this so this dot element and then on that we are accessing the native element and we are changing its background color now here we are getting this error that null is not assignable to type element ref so let's do one thing let's not initialize it okay let's save the changes let's go to the web page and you can see that the directive is still working but now we have written the logic inside this ng on init method so here in order to access the element on which we have used the directive first we created a private property and then we assigned that private property with the parameter which we are receiving for this constructor inside the class constructor now there is a shortcut for writing the same thing so what we can do is we can simply remove this private property from here and here before this parameter name we can use this private keyword so here what will happen is behind the scenes angular will create a private property named element for this class all right and then we can access that private property like we are doing here so this should also work if i save the changes if i go to the web page the directive should still be working but here what we did is we use this private keyword before this parameter name so behind the scenes angular created a private property called elements and then we can access that private property like we are doing here all right so this is all from this lecture if you have any questions then feel free to ask it thank you for listening and have a great day